Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna to show you a super cute design. And this design, uh, I think it's easy. It's not hard and it can be a very cool way to do a fast design, fast line twist animal. This is going to be the first attempt I'm gonna show you. But um, look at this. Cool thing about this design, one, two, three, Yes, four balloons, but the orange can be just balloon scraps. And there is the option that you don't have to add, you know, much. Like this is kind of like what I th was thinking. Oh, I love this way. This is the way I wanted to make this design with this purple 160 for the wings, this part and this part. Look at the pictures I found on Google. And I was thinking how to make a cute owl. Because I used to make an owl for fast line twisting. And it was... um. It was cool, people liked it, yes, but I'm thinking when they see this one, it's like, ah, they're gonna say, ah. <laughs> so this is what's an attempt. Then I was thinking, let's try it again, because I was thinking how to make it fast. You know, the eyes can be this way, it's an option. I'm gonna put it closer so you see, you know, the lines, the details in Sharpie. It's not that hard, even the big eyes in circle, you just need a good marker I mean, just, and the circle. You can make it smaller, but I think the bigger it's better. I don't know. Um, then it was a third attempt to make it a little more realistic. So, or not realistic, but playing, you know, with the, these colors. And this is how it came. Now, this one, for some reason, looks different, right? Uh, it looks like already here, like a sad with this expression. You can probably vary that and make things better. But, um, that's how it came out to me. Maybe the, the other thing is this blush, you know, uh, it could be better for when you're using blush color, it could be better um, with a darker brown, with a brown, with a mocha brown or, you know, this skinny part at least. So you can try to make it all brown, but if you're gonna do this design, this technique at least, you know, with these colors, you can have an idea that maybe this one is gonna be another color will be better because it kind of get distortion the idea, but I still think if you look at, um, still can people, you know, say, oh, it's an owl mm, or it's an alien. <laughs> but let's try it now. Look at this. It's almost the same. Now, this balloon, this and these two are one, only one balloon round five inch around. And this pink and these two, it's only one balloon uh, hearts, you know, like six inch or five inch heart. I think a six inch hard. So uh, you decide what you have available. It's gonna work in both cases. So now let's start it because this can be a very cute design that you can start making and this is a cool part. I have a round, five inch round and a heart. Now with a heart, it's going to be, for me, I think it's gonna be easier. Okay, so I'm gonna make it the hardest way because then most of you will have round balloons, right? So this is a round balloon, five inch round, and this is a hard six inch round. I'm gonna make it with this, uh, the round. So the trick or the idea always for the, this design is inflate the balloon all the way. I recommend you to do that. Inflate the balloon all the way. And I'm gonna move this way. Okay, so then you look here until it is round as fit inside the palm of your hand. And then you try it close to the nasal. You know, you want that not that big because you're gonna twist it a lot. So look, it's in the palm of my hand. Okay, then you're going to squish here, and here you're gonna grab like approximately four or five finger long, and then this part have to be the most squishable. Squish enough that look what I can do. I can squish and touch. So it's very squishable because you're gonna split it in half. Now, how to do that? You twist this. And then now you just grab the half and with your other hand you have to pull it. Okay? Now things doesn't have to be perfect but trying to do your best. You have this. Yep, this is the shape. Uh, so this is I think it's maybe the hardest part. So but you can do it. You can do it. The trick is inflate the balloon all the way, lose some air, and then make it soft and squishable and you try it close to the nozzle. Now, let's keep going. Um, for the 164, this can be orange or uh, yellow or, you know, something close to that for the beak and the feet. 
You can even just use balloon scraps. If you have balloon scraps, make the feet orange and the beak yellow with just the scraps. In my case, I'm gonna use this color, with the entire balloon, but you don't gonna even need all this. Unless you wanna use it also to make it into a bracelet. Then what you can do is, instead of like here, for example, you're gonna make like two finger loop, another two finger loop. And those are gonna be just very simple feet. Now, you can then cut a little bit, some, a little bit of tip. So that's gonna be around this part in a moment. But um, the thing is, if you want this to be into a one, you can make more loops, you know, more loops or, or into a bracelet, you know. And in my case, I'm thinking, why not if I have already this balloon? So I'm making like a five inch round, I mean, five petals. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, make it into a bracelet, but at the end, I'm sure I will need a little bit here without inflating, like two finger long at least. So I'm gonna go with three finger long and I'm gonna cut, and that's gonna be the beak. So with the rest here, this is all is gonna be for the bracelet part. Only because I'm already thinking, oh, I'm gonna give it to the kid, and the kid is gonna love it. So this is already a bracelet that is gonna be the feet. It is just one, two, three, four, five loops. You can make it just three loops or two loops. It's okay. I'm just thinking this way is more stable for me, you know. So you have this. Then you have still this little piece that is going to be the big. So I'm going to inflate it because inflate all the way, but you just need no more than two finger long. Okay. See? Less tight. So you have the big. Now, these little things can wait for a moment. Now it's just um, the turn to um, another balloon that this is gonna be at 260. Oh yeah. So if one, you play with the colors, you know, this is already have like a light blue. You can play with a dark blue or with a hot pink. You wanna try with a hot pink. I think that looks cute. This is a magenta. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna inflate the magenta. You have to inflate it like six fingers long okay like six or seven finger long you're gonna start from here tie it in the middle okay and then from here look you're gonna measure one two three so it's like 12 finger long and then you're gonna go back with 12 finger long okay when you are doing already that you can leave it there for a moment then you're gonna go down Whatever it is that goes down, twist with the bottom, the nasal here, and then go up. And then with the rest, this is gonna be something really interesting. I just twist around, and I'm gonna show you. You are having this. The front, the back. Okay, now look at this. I'm gonna squish a little bit up, you know, look, where I want here, like a little, not here, because here's gonna be the beak, so a little bit up, I put the balloon, and then I measure like no more than two finger long, and I'm gonna make one bubble, thin twist, or from here, the idea is all this is gonna go, so you can pass this through, twist, pass it around, and then you can start making three pinch twists. That's all. Three pinch twists, if you want more, that's great. You can make more pinch twists, it's up to you. I have three and it's whatever you can, you know. So then the rest, you cut it and, or you can maybe leave it there, but I'm gonna cut it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna secure it with the little thing that I have left over, cause it's kind of like, so now this looks like this, remember. This goes in the front a little bit. This is gonna be opening and put it around the eyes. Okay? So that's kind of like what it's gonna be looking so far. Look. And you may think, oh, it's here, but it's looking upside down. Like, what is this shape? It's okay. Soon, things are gonna have more sense. Okay, you can accommodate in between for a moment. That's fine. Soon, things will look better. Now, you can start attaching this to here, yes. So you just grab uh, the nasal if you have enough space or with the orange, you will have a way to connect that around a couple of times. And there we go, the feet, 
Then uh, the beak, you can start attaching the beak with pull, pass around, and then the same. What else you need here? What else you need? we are missing? Look, now when you have this, oh, remember the pinch twist when it pop, that's a bummer. You have to be careful when you pop those, uh, the last, you know, the end of the 260 magenta. And now I just have only two uh, pinch twists, but I want three. I think it looks better with three. So I'm gonna see if I'm just looking for a balloon scrap. <laughs> that is magenta. The thing is with time, you're gonna be able to even add more colors or find what is, you know, better for you. Um, because I love sometimes to play just with balloon scraps, so. You have this. Look, it's already, and this is the cool part. If you have it like this and give it to a kid, the kid will see already that this is um, an owl, for sure. They will see that, oh yes, it's an owl, love it. You see, you can just give it to a kid and they will be happy. You make eyeballs and that's it. This can be an eyeball, very fast and easy. Now, we can add something else. I'm gonna add another balloon. This is gonna be a 160. Uh, pink only because you, I want to show you that you can play with different colors your favorite colors or the colors that you have available and it's going to still looking like an owl so this balloon is inflated like a finger tail approximately and what you just need to do is attach it here in the center and, and then you're just going to um kind of like play with this look you just attach it there and you can push up this balloon, the 160. I'm gonna go to the front so you can see. And then push up. And when it's up, you're gonna, you keep hiding in there. And this is gonna go all the way to, you can make a loop. Like imagine you wanna close that. You see, whatever is that, you're gonna close it there. So you're gonna close that and twist, and then go back to the front. And then you're gonna do the same. You're gonna push again, and the idea that the dark magenta, I'm gonna go closer so you can see this magenta is gonna be in the front. So you squish it and push. Well, you know, you make another shape here, like this, okay? And then you again go to the back, this is the back, and pass it around. A couple of times to secure them now. From here, I was trying to make because the idea is also I want to save time and that's you know then you can accommodate things everything is going to be looking much better so this is how it looks it's so about you know just play you will feel that oh where well, are the bubbles kind of feel better okay so you have this and you have still have balloon here and this is what I was thinking how to be able to uh, make the wings and the kind of like color here because if you don't have enough balloon forget the color and you just have this is another extra beautiful for the owl if you're still thinking that oh you have time and you want to keep making something cool do from here what i like to do is i make a little bubble a one finger bubble another bubble little bubble and pinch twist and then i squish stretch and this is how to be soft and squishable and the idea is you pass it around, see, pass it around and connect it all the way to the pinch twist in the back. Now, I'm just passing around, you see, you play with the balloon, you have to be soft and squishable and pass it around and play with how it will fit better. It's a, not, it's a little detail, but I think it looks cute and makes your design even more elaborated. And you now see the trick is not hard. And look, we still have all this. What I was thinking is you can just grab this. Look, this is gonna be another cool trick. You have all this, you squish, stretch. If you think you would like more air, that's good. If it's not, don't worry. And look what I did. I squish here some air. So I'm gonna kind of like have it wherever I want to be the wings coming from. The... And then I just grab this, whatever is there. Grab the end, tie it into a loop, look. But it's gonna be a very soft loop because there's a lot of balloon there. So I just make whatever is left there and make it into a loop like this. And, and that loop, whatever is this size of the loop, you're gonna split it in half. 
and you can even do this if you want or you can leave it this way but what you have to do here is you have to pass it in between here you see these two so it's just gonna go one gonna, it's gonna go one side and the other one is gonna go the other side this is the back and to do that you will see the effect that cool that is gonna have your design and just I'm here you know showing you how cool is this with practice you're going to be able to do this even faster but look how cool is this design now the technique the way you do it right it's gonna like you know it's another idea that i think you're gonna love it and you just tell me what do you think you you like it you think it's cool i think with practice you're gonna be able to make it i like that with this design you can play with so many different colors you know and so the options are you know infinite to uh, make this design your own design or whatever the kids like you can ask them oh what is your favorite color now you notice i'm playing with 260s 160s and round sometimes to find you know something cool it's good you know to play and try to get different sizes balloons but in case you don't have 160 balloons try with your balloons 260. it may be look a little bit different or maybe it will look the same but i'm sure it's gonna look like an owl so this is the idea, I hope you like it. Now, Sharpie time, it's, that's another cool part. You can again play with different color. For example, if it's blue or light blue, you can just grab any, any Sharpie like it's blue for this part. And just look, you decide what type of feathers will you like. Like this, it's like, or like this. And in my case, I think I like all together and it's faster. So you just go boom, boom, boom. And then boom, 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 and then boom, boom, boom. Three lines, good enough. One line or just a couple of things, that's good. All depends how much time do you have. For the eyes, I recommend you go with black. Don't use the blue um, because I think with black is gonna be better. But it's up to you, and also up to uh, what, how much time do you have. Now, this is uh, what you can do. I think I like the big eyes. And the good thing is, if, if you have, you see, a Sharpie or a marker that is thick, it's going to be easy to make these big eyes. And what I do is, I make the circle. Look at your design as much as you can in front, but for, so it's going to be easy. So there are big circles, and I'm trying to find another circle in there. Like, add a circle there, you see a little one. And then you just color whatever it's out of the little circle. You see in between in between the circles and that's what i'm doing right now in case you wonder so tell me what are you doing i'm gonna do it um and please try to do the designs you know because i think you're gonna like the idea that you can not just make a round balloon with a five inch round you can make different shapes you can make more than two or three bubbles it's, see, especially uh, if you play with balloons that are good quality and the balloons that I used, for example, was Decomex, the 5 inch round Decomex. And then also I tried with Qualitex 5 inch round. And then with the hearts, the Qualitex heart, and it works great. So this is the design. I think it's great. You have so much, you know, choices, especially if you make this into, you know, for your headband. This can be, you know, for a wand, for a bracelet. But look at how cute. And the back is also not that bad. I think it's super cool. And yeah that's the design i wanted to share now play with colors play with a different type of eyes with the feathers remember you don't have to do all the details like for example in this one i decided not to add the little let's call the neck or the scarf and it's still looking like an owl i didn't have to make you know the eyes all that roundish black you can just make those lines like little use and it's still looking like an owl so all depends how much time do you have now look at this again so really now you can always grab these parts and pinch it and it kind of give it maybe a little bit of effect you know like more elaborated but it's not much uh, a difference and so the idea is um this is a thing it's a very cool design i'm gonna do it i'm gonna now i'm excited to give it to kids you know <laughs> or people today I hope you like it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment what do you think if you have more ideas, if you think this design, 
hmm, can you know um you can add some you know ideas or take some you know of that the whole design to make it easier or faster or better that everything is always very well um welcome here in this channel to your comments especially if you are already and more advanced balloon twister i would love to see you know your ideas uh, so the other balloon twisters that are just starting can see mm, this can be uh, interesting so yeah <laughs> you have the idea <laughs> damn don't forget how to collaborate with this channel to make it more you know like much better yes so don't forget on the description of all my videos you will find there my address you will find my paypal account venmo account you can donate money or you can uh, send balloons you can also see my amazon wish list uh, and there you will find things that I think, oh, that will, I would love to have them that I found on Amazon that is great for balloon twisters or people that wants to do things with balloons or people that likes alpacas or love alpacas like I do. Uh, and then what else? What else? Follow me on Instagram, Alpaca Global Balloons. And I think that's all. Thank you so much. And we're almost very close to be 7,000 subscribers in this channel. This makes me super happy and excited. So if you can share this channel and, and or if you haven't subscribed yet, do it because that will be great, you know, to at least end this year with 7,000 subscribers. So that's feel like ooh, we're getting better and better. Don't you think? <laughs> okay, okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.